Hello, what's Zachary Triple Seven? In today's video, I'm doing a video on the latest Windows 8.1 Update One leak. So a couple days ago, a Russian hacker was able to add a registry file to trick the Microsoft servers into thinking he was an employee, and in turn, they gave him the Update One before it came out. So he was able to leak it online. I downloaded it, did a fresh install, and so that's today. I'm going to show you guys some of the new features that are coming to Windows 8 computers probably next month. So uh, this update is just an update. If you hate Windows 8, you're still going to hate it. And if you love it, you're still going to love it, at least in my opinion. The update is nothing major to make you change your opinion on the operating system. It's just some small stuff, mostly for keyboard and mouse users, I found. So with that, let's get started. So the first thing you'll notice, it does bring you to the Metro screen. There was a rumor that um, it would skip the Metro screen completely. That is the default. That's not true. It still brings you to the desktop or the Metro screen, sorry, for now. Also in the corner here, you can see the Microsoft unauthorized use um, paragraph. Um, so basically this tells you this is the real deal. And yeah, it's kind of scary as well. So bringing to the first point, uh, Windows installed faster, I found. This is because um, the operating system's actually been, been reduced to just under 9.5 gigabytes. They shut it about a gigabyte or two gigabytes off of Windows, which is pretty good for... Um, bringing windows to tablets and that kind of stuff. In the corner as well, you'll notice we now we have a search and a power options button. Uh, this is a lot nicer for mouse users. Normally you'd have to create a tile or go to the settings. Now you can actually just hit power and shut down much quicker than going to the settings and powering down the most annoying way in planet earth on windows ever. Also, Another thing now, if you have other Windows 8 devices, um, the tiles will show up there. But the cooler thing, in my opinion, when you right-click a, a tile now, it gives you the right context menu from the desktop instead of having it at the bottom. Also now, um, you can, like I said, you can install an app straight from a little button on the corner of it if you have it installed on a different uh, Windows 8 device. If you don't have an app installed that you have installed on a different one, it will show it there even in your options below and just tell you to install it. A very small little tweak that they added in the PC settings now, you can actually go to control panel straight from the bottom left hand corner, which I still think is really dumb because PC settings should have all these settings that the control panel has, at least in my opinion, but they don't still, so it would, you click it, it closes with the PC settings app and opens that up. next thing I'm going to show you guys is a quick little tweak now that they added. You can actually bring your mouse to the top of the screen and this black bar will show up, not the, well, the, not the gray one, that's my virtual machine. But you can actually click on the icon, close, minimize, split left and right, and the right hand side is the exit and minimize button. Kind of like the actual desktop. Also they added a SkyDrive icon. This is really small and all it does is actually open up your uh, folder. But this basically means though that it will notify you when it gets updated. They also added a tiles now to your taskbar, which can be annoying in my opinion. You'll see why in a minute. Um, and also they did update the look to the store a little bit. But what I meant by that is basically now when you, whenever you have an app that you had to open, it's going to show up there. Now this is why it's going to be annoying. I did a little test. Um, I opened Task Manager and you can see here that all the apps that had previously opened in the video are actually still considered open and they're using my RAM. My virtual machine that I have this running on isn't a lot of RAM and so it's using 17% of the RAM. And you can see that I actually closed the store by right clicking and closing it and it's still there. Even the other apps that I had opened earlier are still there. And they're using like 50 Having unnecessary apps open can be crappy for low end devices. For Just like the Play device. Store you can right click a app and pin to the taskbar. Which leads me on to my next point. So if you go to properties on the taskbar, we also have this new feature, which is really annoying, to show um, other apps on the taskbar, so it's, it's store apps. So basically now every single app that you had open will be there. And if you have a small resolution device, I can see this really taking up your taskbar fast. They're very similar to other ones too. You can organize them, pulling back and forth. 
So the last thing, they did change the wallpapers. And uh, that's pretty much it though for the update, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you're interested in a download for this, I would check the description. I may tweet it or something. I'm not exactly sure yet how to get you guys a copy of this if you're interested. Uh, I wouldn't install it on your computer though. I install it on a virtual machine. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave your opinion on the leak below. Uh, in my opinion, it's pretty much all updates except for that stupid taskbar thing. I'm not really looking forward to that. I'm going to try to find a way to disable it, in my opinion. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below as well. And besides that, thanks for watching. This is the Hacker Trip Below 7, and I'm signing off.